a deregistered lawyer, to Paris Nguyeni, has dragged President Emerson Nangagwa and the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, ZEC, to court in a fresh bid to block the March 26 by elections, arguing they are a waste of resources and were supposed to have been held within the stipulated timeframe. Singweni, an MDCT activist and a close ally of faction leader Douglas Munzora, is the first applicant in the matter in which Vinam Bell, Edify Kudzesh Vishoma and Fanuel Tsvanu are the other applicants suing Nangagwa and Zek who are the first and second respondents respectively. Singweni, a former MDCT Midlands South Youth Assembly provincial chairperson, who gave his address as House No. 1405, 238 Crescent, Kuwadzana 2 in Harare, argued in his founding affidavit on 2 March 2022 that Nangagwa failed to call by elections within the stipulated time hence he is seeking a court order to declare the proclamations unconstitutional, therefore null and void. This is an application for a determination that the first respondent failed to call for by elections in all the 28 House of Assembly seats and council seats within the time stipulated by the Constitution of Zimbabwe, and therefore an order declaring that the two purported proclamations above are unconstitutional, therefore null and void ab initio, Singweni's founding affidavit tread in part. He argued that it was his expectation Nangagwa would call by elections within the set time frame, but the Zimbabwean leader failed or refused, neglected, or absconded from proclaiming dates for the by-elections. Dot as a citizen of this country, I believe in the full and correct interpretation and application of the national constitution. In other words, I have an unalienable right to the correct and timehouse interpretation and effect of the national constitution, Singweni said. Singweni also argued that by elections were a waste of resources an argument previously raised by the Munzara camp in a bid last year to stop the by-elections. In any event, there is no need for by-elections now. This country is due to hold its harmonized elections in the next 16 months. It is prudent to wait for that date. As a small economy, Zimbabwe has financial challenges that are affecting the greater majority of its population. The government is struggling to pay its employees a living wage. It is not prudent to drag the country into another plebiscite whose outcome does not change the numerical configuration of parliament in any way, he said. By-elections were necessitated largely by recalls of MDC alliance members of parliament and councillors who were accused by Mwanzara of having expelled themselves from his party by declaring allegiance to the Nelson Chamisa-led party. This followed a March 2020 High Court ruling that nullified the appointment of Jamisa and Elias Mazzuri as vice presidents of the MDCT by the party's founding leader Morgan Svangerai. The High Court ruling was interpreted to mean that the party returns to the 2014 structures until the holding of an extraordinary Congress to elect Svangerai's replacement following his death in February 2019. Nangagwa was expected to proclaim the date for the by-elections within 90 days, but Vice President and Health Minister Constantino Chuenga, through Statutory Instrument 225A of 2020, blocked the holding of the polls, citing COVID-19. This was despite that several countries in and out of Africa were holding elections in the COVID-19 era. Ping it, 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 ping it